Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. Today, I'm going to answer some questions that I'm often asked. People ask me what I look for in a camera, a good camera for shooting sports action. And I think uh, the number one thing is good autofocus, good fast autofocus. Another thing is availability of telephoto lenses, a variety of lenses. And thirdly, your, your frame rate. Uh, it's really the higher the frame rate you can get, uh, the more likely you are to capture that peak moment of action. That's not to say that you shouldn't have your timing such that you're going to get that moment, but it doesn't hurt if you've got 12 or 14 frames to find it. So, uh, you know, good autofocus, uh, good selection of lenses, and good motor drive speed. And that makes a good sports, sports photography camera. Uh, when I'm asked about a good sports photography camera and I mention the fact that it should have good autofocus, here's what I mean. I mean that you should be able to shift the point of autofocus around in the frame. Uh, you should also be able to shift your control of your autofocus to the button, a button on the back of the camera. This is really crucial, this back button focus. That way you control the focus independent of the shutter. If, it's, if a camera is in a standard mode, when you push down the shutter, it starts to focus. You may not want that because there's going to be something crossing in front of you. So back button focus is big, moving the focus points around. Some of the more advanced cameras now offer different cases so you can modify how the autofocus, whether it stays on a subject uh, for a long time or quickly jumps to the next subject. Uh, personally. I think we get too many options these days. I just want to. I just want it to work. But you have all those options. The more options you have, the better camera. The better it is suited for sports photography. I'm often asked how I prepare to shoot an event. Well, uh, going back to the basics, let's first of all check out our gear, check our batteries, check our cards, make sure everything's working. Think about what the event is, what gear I'm going to take with me. I want to have everything I need, but I don't want to be dragging a whole bunch of extra stuff. I'm not the person who takes every piece of equipment to every event they go to. That's ridiculous. So I try and pare it down to what I'm going to need and not what I'm not going to need without forgetting anything. So now I am off to the event. The other thing I, I really need to do before I even leave the house is do research. Is, is find out as much as I can about the, the event, the venue, the teams, the players, as much as I can about that, really important to know. You're not going to figure it out on the spot. You, you need to come with some kind of perception. The other thing is, what am I going for? What kind of a picture do I want to make? That's really important. That's going to influence my whole shooting day. So with that all in mind, Go to the stadium, hope I got good parking, most important thing. And then uh, on down to the field, uh, I find when I'm in a new venue, uh, most other photographers are pretty friendly and helpful. So I can say, hey, where's the media room? Uh, how, where do we get on the field? You know, I get a lot of help. I mean, that, that's people want to help you. Uh, if it's a sport I've never shot before, let's say it's show jump, horse jumping or something like that. There's always that one guy or girl, man or woman, who does this their whole life and knows everything about it. And what I try and do is find that person and just get as much out of them as, as I can. I think that's a big help. But in a familiar venue, soccer, football, baseball, I pretty much know what I'm doing, where I'm going, settle in, uh, you know, kind of get the feel of everything and, and, and shoot the game. That's pretty much it. I'm often asked, what's a good day as a sports photographer and what's a bad day? 
And let's assume that you've made it to the stadium, you've parked, you got your gear and you didn't have any problems there. You're on the field, you're set, you know what you want to shoot. Um, and your guy doesn't play, you know? Oh, he hurt his ankle in the, in, the, in the locker room. He doesn't play, you know? What are you doing then? Well, or he plays and I'll use football for an example because that's a sport I shoot a lot. He never runs towards you. He runs the other way, whole game. No matter where you move, he goes the other way. This happens. Uh, as a friend of mine, uh, my former boss and editor Steve Fine says, sports is messy. Uh, there are days when it all falls right in your lap, when it just comes and it's just, it's just coming to you. And there are days when it doesn't. I've, I've found sometimes uh, when I'm not getting it, I tend to keep chasing things and moving around too much, but I think that's the wrong thing to do. I think if, you, if, you're, if you're chasing a picture all the time, you're not gonna, be, you're not gonna find it. I, I try and kind of settle myself. I take a position that should logically work and just kind of hang for a while and see if, if my luck doesn't change. But it can happen uh, just as those great days when every touchdown is at your feet and every sack is right down the 20 yard line and all the beautiful stuff happens. It can go either way. Sports is messy. So those are a few of the questions that I'm often asked. Uh, please try and send me more. Uh, put them in the comments, send me an email. Whatever, uh, I will do this, uh, this kind of show again. I will answer your questions. Uh, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, good day.